Buongiorno, mon ami. Welcome. Zum Wort, Tonda. Krieg blitzen sein. Wir sind hier auf der deutschen Krieg blitzen. But in all seriousness, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Primo Italian War Thunder. I am the High Dragon's Breath. Bow wow. Welcoming you back to the Italian Tech Tree. Yeah, that's a good swell with the music. Alrighty. I am so very, very excited. So excited, in fact, that I'm going to make this a whole series unto itself about these tanks. I have become addicted to researching these vehicles, so you're going to get a whole lot of mess of content on what we have here and what we don't have here, which is almost as much of an issue as what we do. So, let's start off with these, uh, this whole issue of the fact that I can't actually get the tanks at hand. Rage, War Thunder, why you do this? I hate you so much, but also I love you. Thank you for putting my dear, dear Italians in the game. I love it so much. But again, what is this shit? American. 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 Why is the tank destroyer top level an American tank destroyer? No. Stop. God damn it, stop. <sighs> but, I do have a premium for you guys. So... Let's take a look at our uh, M1340s, and our M1340 Mark 1s, and our M1340 Mark 2s, and our M1340 Mark 3s. Okay, basically, this is the Panzer III of Italy. Um, except, you know, worse, because that's how Italy works. I love these vehicles for two things. Their depression, uh, their explosive mass, and... Their meme ability, the ability that they have to be hilarious to play and actually be pretty impressive at some point. So, let's start off with this. I'm going to go through the ones that I'm not actually going to play. Uh, since I'm only able to play two games per video, I'm going to be playing out the M1340 Mark III uh, or Mark II. The L333 CC, this little... Uh, I'll, I'm going to gush over the cutest tank in the game. It's a tankette. Uh, and the AB-41, which is... Uh, more on that later. It's a very, very incredible tank. Or tank destroyer, depending on what you think about it. But the M-1340 Mark I. This is almost a prototype tank, uh, if you look at it. It's built on the interwar concepts of machine gun firepower uh, and support weapons. This is a... Okay armored tank. Almost all Italian vehicles are armored uh, to defend against 20mm machine guns from over 500 meters. Or a little bit under 500 meters. Maybe about the 300 meters angled. This thing can stop uh, what was expected from 20mm anti-tank rifles. And of course 20mm anti-tank uh, artillery. 37mm however will have much easier time getting through here. Though it is possible to foil them. Uh, with these side pieces or it with low enough velocity guns will not go through this upper plate. But as you can see, 30 millimeters on this front plate, 30, mil 30 millimeters backed by 30 millimeters on this, uh, I believe the correct term is barbiette. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but it's barbiette. It is two machine guns in a double mount. You can't see it because they don't actually work in game, but uh, essentially, they work as little 30 millimeter pieces of armor. Some of them are slanted, some of them are not. Uh, and then it creates this nice slanted area here that's 88 millimeters, 88 millimeters, and then you can bounce off the top. So it's a big weak spot here. It's very strong here and here. Uh, and then when you angle, it can also become quite trolly if somebody's trying to fire for there and not for this area. But uh, speaking of angling, it's kind of what you have to do with this tank. But there is one issue. Uh, it's that it has the same problem as the Japanese do, where it has this slightly half-angled piece of armor, which is great from the front. Uh, and when you're angling to the other side, it's wonderful. But uh, from angling towards it, it gets really thin really quickly. Uh, the side armor and the under armor is great. It has these small 4mm side skirts that might help, might not. Uh, and then... Uh, rounded under glacis, so you're not going to really get a lot of shots into its very, very lower glacis of the underside. Uh, the other thing about the Italian mediums is that they all have this nice 30mm uh, cast armor plate uh, behind a gun face mantlet. So 40mm on top of 30mm, 
that 30 millimeters is angled to become 43, and then the top one is 51. So you could bounce a lot of shots from your own gun right here. I've seen it happen. I've had it happen to me. It's very upsetting. Uh, and then 45 millimeters on the faceplate. Again, not a lot, but it'll stop some things at long range. Uh, so the weaknesses for this tank are the hull. Mainly this area and this area are where you'll die from, and then shots from here. So, let's talk about uh, the differences between all of these. This first one, if you look, rotation speed for the turret is 18.4 uh, degrees per second. Vertical guidance is uh, negative 15 degrees of gun depression. Reload rate is 6.4 seconds. Now, if you look at the premium secondary version, almost the same exact armor. Uh, same exact armor profile. But... 3.8 seconds of reload time, so far faster reload, a slower uh, turret rotation speed, and less depression. Uh, I don't know why that is, but it kind of gets fixed with this one. The same reload speed, so much faster reload, more depression, and much better than either of the previous versions in uh, turret rotation, which is why we're playing this, because this is technically the best of the three. Uh, even beating out the premium, though it's a reserve tank, which I don't understand, or at least I didn't understand until I... Figured out that, uh, yeah, no, this this thing's just bad. It's worse in almost every way. I don't know why it's premium. It may just be because you want another one of these large guns in your low-tier lineup. But, yeah, that's how these vehicles are laid out. But this is the one we're going to use, looking at the gun that is on all three of them, by the way. I have an issue with this. I take issue with this. Uh, this Pref Granata Prefonata Mod 35 penetrates 54 millimeters of armor. And then the Granata Prefonata Mod 39 which is an APBC versus an APHE shell, has the same explosive mass. It, it's almost exactly the same as the previous weapon. Yeah, it, it even weighs a little bit less, but its penetration is less. Maximum penetration is significantly lower. Uh, the only positive is at range, this can penetrate more armor, but... In reality, you will not be firing this gun, or you should not be firing this gun at range. It only has 54 millimeters of pen uh, versus 53 with the second round. And yeah, you may say that that's a minimal difference or that it doesn't make much difference, but if you're looking at a 50 millimeter angled plate and you're close up and somebody angles a little bit too much, this won't go through, but this will. So that's why I'm going to be using that uh, on this vehicle. I will go into a whole other argument on that when I go through this thing series, when I go through the series for the Italian Tech uh, where I will be making a single video and going through the positives and negatives of each of these vehicles on each of the separate trees, and I will make them separate videos, because why not? It, they deserve it, in my opinion. Uh, the L333CC. This is an adorable tank get. Um, the Italians could not afford uh, very many actual armored vehicles, which is why you see all this riveted tank design and then these adorable little tank gets armed with 20 millimeter that's actually an anti-tank rifle if you look at the x-ray you're not looking at a cannon you're looking at an at rifle it's a fusil kokotari mod 39 anti-tank rifle and uh yeah this thing was not meant for human beings to actually be sitting in uh it was closer to the fact that you'd be having your driver stick his head up uh, out of the hatch normally if you were to be driving but these things are very fast they are protected for the most part against 50 caliber machine guns on this lower glacis and on the front but uh not so much through your crew compartment or the sides it's really really bad the armor is terrible the gun isn't bad it penetrates 40 millimeters of armor with a nice little armor piercing high explosive shell and it has a clip of a significant amount of rounds which i forget the number of but uh it's not bad and the ab41 this is the Panzer II with wheels. You think I'm joking? Look at the ammo it has for its 20mm machine gun. Panzergranat 40, a German round with 64 millimeters of penetration. Oh my god! Oh my god, that is nice. It feels nice too, and you'll see in a minute that it does work. And then it has this Prefonata Mod 35 which goes through 40 millimeters of armor, which is essentially the same as the anti-tank rifle we just saw on the L333. Now this Panzergranat 40 has a single round of the German HVAP ammo, and then an APIT right after. So, one solid shot, and then one APIT. And now, without further ado, I will go back and make a second video on all of these. You know what? Maybe I'll come back and just do all of them tonight, because I have plenty of time, ladies and gentlemen. 
plenty of time to get right into this, and I'm going to enjoy myself. So we're going to be playing them in this order. We're going to be playing the medium tank out first, the uh, L33 out second, and then the armored car out third. And if we have a snowy or sandy map where the armored car cannot reach its potential, we have Cyanide. All right. All right. All right, we'll see. We'll see if we die, and we'll keep the 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 armored car for last. But I don't, I don't want to have to use it because, well, it'll mess up my. It'll mess up my using the the other three vehicles. Okay, don't get mad at me. Let's go with the heavy medium first. Again, we're working with 54 millimeters of penetration, and uh, we're probably gonna go to a nice open area, so we can. Oh man. Oh, I uh. I didn't mention other than the barbiette, but this thing does have an anti-aircraft mounted machine gun. It can't really depress, uh, but it can aim up, and then it has a nice coaxial machine gun. But those two barbiette MGs do not work. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, Gaijin hates me and the Italian tank tree. So help me God. So. This thing is decently fast, 34 kilometers per hour for a vehicle like this is pretty nice. We are not very stable as a platform, obviously, but uh, we should be able to be fine cruising into A. The Panzer 38T A, all the way over there already. Just gonna roll over these, uh, boom, yeah. This thing does not have a lot of weight or power behind it, but we are going to roll out and see if we can't see who is capturing A. There's a BT-5. BT-5 should definitely be our lunch. Ah, uh, somebody else already got him. Somebody make it a meatball out of the BT-5. Yes, I will be doing a BS Italian accent for this entire gameplay. If you don't like it, well, I don't know what's wrong with you. Do you have no joy in your soul? It's a happy day, damn it. Just enjoy yourself for once. Oh lord. Oh lord. That's the worst thing in, to see in this entire tank. The worst thing to see in this tank is an M3 Stuart. Pronti. Alright, we can fire another round right now. Ah, oh, come on, baby. You can't get through this armor. Can't get through this armor. You can't get through it. And as I said, this thing is rated for 20 mils, so... You can't... You can't outdo me! Yeah, this this thing is not all that great for, uh, for thin-skinned vehicles. There we go. Oh my god, it ricocheted. Are the M3s? Yep, still there. Ah, we got a fire on one of them. There's another one of our kind over there. Oh, nope, he got through our turret. Escape! Escape! All right, we captured the zone, but we're going to put that new crew member in. Now, as you can see, we just bounced a ton of 20 mils, but uh, he got us through a turret neck area. I do not want to break that house. It's the only thing defending me right now. And I'm just going to reload this last crew member and let my ammunition get back into shape and uh, see if anything else comes to kill us. That M1139 up there is obviously itching for my blood, but I think we're going to stay away from him, and somebody took him out. M2A4. Again, as I said, the Americans are the worst possible thing for you to run into in this tank. Because they're well armored, or at least better armored than your gun is routed for. And they their guns will night... Like, I don't know why, but the American 37mm is the strongest gun at low tier. It beats out, uh, in penetration values, low velocity 75mm. No joke at all. Uh, in my opinion, the... The short 75 is actually a worse gun than the American 37mm. Just in terms of penetration. Not in terms of effect, but maybe if you're considering the fact that heat is so limited in its post-pen action. Uh, the 37mm with solid shot may actually be a better round. Which is sad to say, considering that I actually like the uh, the early Panzer IV. Uh, just because, you know, it's the direct counter to the Shar 2B. And yes, I know I'm getting dangerously overextended. But uh, considering this thing's fast, ref uh, the reload the reload will not matter against that thing. That is just true. The reload will not matter against that. But if we can flank him, we can take care of him. Oh my god, there's more than one of them. 
There we go. There's a crit. Oh, good shot to our Italian brethren there. Goodbye, my little meatball. Good shot. We have the Char 2, Char 1 Bis moving up with us. It appears that there was another American who he took out. Uh, quite handily, I may add, my French brother. Uh, let us move forward upon this AB41 and just curb stomp this team from one side. Heck yes, this is like a this is something the Tal the Italians never got to experience in real combat. Rolling upon an already defeated enemy. Well, I suppose you consider the invasion of France, but other than that, this did not happen very often on the Italian fronts. Where oh, there's an L, there's an L39, there's an M3 who I think we have a shot on here. Let's just go. Ah, no, we don't. Let's get a little closer. Come on, M3. Oh, penetration, penetration, but no action. Come on, baby. Come on. Ah, screw it. Let's just advance. Again, like I said, these M3 Stewarts, they are scary, which is why I like to kill them from distance. Uh, just balance the tank out for lord's sake. There we go. Good shot. Good shot again. Oh, come on. Penetrate. Penetrate. There we go. We got a fire. I hate, I hate the limited penetration on this gun. But, it doesn't mean we can't... Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, that... The only good thing about this is that the Italian 37mm is even worse than my 47. That BT-5 is right behind us. I already know it. Come on, baby. I know where you are. I know where you are. There you are. Oh, my gosh. How did we just survive that? Come here. How's that 45 millimeter doing you, huh? Not as good as my 30. Not as good as my 47. All right, back up, back up, back up, back up. Italians are here, baby. Italians are here. Oh my gosh, that has never happened to me before. I have never been able to do this. I guess these are kind of what these are made for. They have a very fast reload rate. They're kind of made for this sort of uh, game-breaking system. There we go. Target destroyed. We're just gonna book it out of here. I think I think we've uh, we've drunk enough. Let's jump into a plane, man, dude. This is insane. I cannot imagine the memes that other better players are gonna do getting into this thing. But I could just say that this this tank is one spicy meatball. And I realize now that since I'm doing so well, I'm not going to be able to confine this to one video. <sighs> I mean, good problem to have, but I gotta sleep, man. <laughs> it may be early in the morning, but I still gotta sleep. We're gonna drop off our bombs in three, two, one. And then drop a one off on this medium, or on this medium. Come on, M2, I, I believe in you. I only believe in you because I wanted to kill you. I no longer believe. Alright, ammunition exploded on that last guy. Great. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Placed on team second. Three kills by ourselves. On a low tier game. My absolute god, this thing is insane. But, uh, wow. Oh my gosh, that's just crazy. Wow. Alright, well, I guess I have to try out the meme machines for you guys. But, uh, the only vehicles we didn't look at today are the M1139, which you saw me kill earlier. The AS-42, uh, which I'll look at in a, again in another video. And the Caro Amato Modelo L6, also known as the L640, which is literally the Panzer II on a budget. So, let's try again and hope for a map that is urban, so we can play out the L333 and the AB-41. Probably the L333 is the thing we're going to take out first, because it works on all terrains, and then this one will be situational whether we get an urban map with concrete or not. And considering I already showed you this, that's going to be our new thing for the day. I will not be showing a specialty vehicle uh, as of yet, as far as I know. So, again, more videos to come soon, more vehicles to come soon, uh, as soon as War Thunder decides to loosen up their need for my money. 
and begin giving out vehicles. Again, these are just the ones that they've allowed uh, people to play on public. Again, these are all vehicles you can get yourself, and I encourage you to get, as they will give you a head start on the Italians once they are released. And uh, we're on Abandoned Factory, which is a great place to try this out. Uh, when it says 10, it doesn't mean 10 rounds, it means 10 clips. So technically, that is a whole 80 rounds. Uh, but there really is no point in uh, lowering your ammunition count with this vehicle. Uh, if you get hit, you're gonna die. There's no survivability. You only have two crew members, and uh, your ammo's all in clips anyway, so it don't matter at all. And I just love how fast and adorable this thing is. It is probably... Oh, come on. Come on! You're twice the size of me. How do you... You know what? It might actually be faster to let him push me, but... No time, no time. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, come on, dude. It doesn't work, okay? Could you fucking stop, BT-5? Or BT-7? Stop. Stop it, I don't like it. No means no. This doesn't have a machine gun, but, uh, honestly, I don't know where you could put a machine gun if you had one. Because... Boink. Uh, does the 20 mil... Does that even go through the concrete? I don't think it does. The 20 mil does not break concrete. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The one good thing about this vehicle is its fire rate. And load the next clip. It just gets rid of a clip just like that. And then you get to the next target, and you can get rid of the next clip. Or you can get shot once. And die. Because that's how this vehicle works. You're so cute. You're like a shoe for a tank. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's adorable. And I love it so much. And again, it's such a meme machine. Because when you do get a kill, it's like, oh my god, how? But uh, let's give this thing a shot with, uh, so let's say, 30 clips of ammunition. Again, clips. This thing has 8 rounds in a clip, and then you're done. This is not Panzergranat 40. This is not what I asked for. Damn it, I loaded the wrong thing. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I loaded the wrong thing. Well, we can still pen 40 millimeters of armor. So let's go... Let's go meme it up. And as you'll see, this is a way faster vehicle. But uh, equally difficult to control, may I add. It just slews all over the damn place. Hey, Panzer 2C, I'm you. Look at me. Look at me when I'm talking to you. There we go. Go, 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 go. And this is actually a, a rear vehicle. Like, if you look, there's a car, like, underneath my turret. This is essentially a car turned backwards and given a Panzer II's turret. Or, in reality, it's actually an L640's turret that was removed and given to this vehicle. Which I think is pretty cool. I got one round off and then he shot me in the turret. The good thing is you have four crew members. So this technically won't kill me for a bit. There we go. Uh, darn it. Hey, it means I can show you the, uh, <laughs> the M3 again. The M1340 again. Let's go. Let's go. This is entirely doable. We can still win this easily. All right, we're gonna take out a plane against the plane. This is okay. Can I just say this is my least favorite plane ever? I spent an entire like day and a half trying to figure out how this thing worked, how these 50 cals are aimed. I can't do it. I I don't I don't get it. They don't follow any logic that I know of. I I don't like this is on target. It's it's on target and it's not hitting it. I, I don't get it. I just usually, 90% of the time, I use this to ram. Yeah, die. The only positive is it's fast enough to outreach a bomber. 
put uh, some already on that right there at that point. I saw somebody there before. Uh, I see A being taken, so we're going to go through B to A. Just to uh, make sure and shore up our lines as there's a gap between A and B where there's no vehicles. Or we're going to take out a plane because I'm pretty sure I also saw open top vehicles, but there's a Panzer 38T. And no kill on that one, but I think somebody sees him. At least I spotted him. We're going to go into a plane and defend our allied bomber. There he is. There's a Yak-1. There we go. Rammed him. Perfect. Perfect. Planned. Skillful. Powerful. It's all Italian made. M3. And we're just gonna zoom in and see if we can't... Yeah, he's... He's, he's disengaged. I would expect nothing less. Uh oh, LVAT. Ah, Jesus. Yep, that's a Panzer II F using APCR. See, that's what we should have been using, but we didn't have the Panzer Granat 40 equipped. Because I'm an idiot, if you didn't know. Alright, well. Useless, useless, useless. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. This junk's not worth the time. But I intend to show you that AB-41's uh, APCR ability, you know, if you've never been shot by a Panzer II uh, with APCR, which is literally every Panzer II player because they don't know how to play without that little crutch of theirs. And we just got a great backup vehicle for, yeah, for the good one. Not that they're not, not that they're not all good because they all are wonderful vehicles, it's just that they are, some of them are better than others. So let's get this Panzer Granat 40 a shot, or several shots. As I believe we can penetrate for a significant amount of ways. I don't know. I think it's going to give us the Matilda. Uh, which is not bad. We can definitely penetrate some of the Matilda. Not all of it, though. So let's just give it a shot at this Tetrarch. Yep. Already done. Already 100% done. Yeah, we got a Matilda up there. We're probably not going to be able to penetrate that uh, at any range from the front. Maybe from the rear... We can start a fire, so I'm going to go behind him and see if I can't start that fire down in his heart. Yeah, we can track him, though. Which is actually a good idea. For this vehicle, you can track and you can break cannon barrels at low low BR. Actually, can we? No, we can't. We would have to be straight on and then like 10 yards away. Or meters, rather. We can penetrate right through there. Yep, there's a fire. We can all kinds of mess them up from the rear, but, uh, yeah, again, I don't think it's going to be very useful for other vehicles. We're going to fire off just one more clip at this guy, and then I think we're going to be done for now. Alright, so, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Italian tech tree with all of its glorious faults and all of its absolutely wonderful... Vehicles and just things that I love to see in this game. Uh, the things that were added since the last patch were obviously, other than the whole tech tree, the uh, 105 Simavente GC Leoncello, uh, the Fiat Ansaldo uh, Mark II that we played. This was already there, the Grippa Corazato Leoncello. Unusually enough, I've still yet to work out any difference between the P40 and uh, this P-40. They're at the same battle rank. They have the same armor. They have the same gun with the same penetration. And I'm pretty sure they have the same of everything else. Yeah. Same turret rotation. And uh, see max speed. Yeah, same max speed. I don't, I don't understand the difference. Really, I don't think there is a, any. I think this is just something that they put in because they can. Maybe they'll add something different to the other P-40, move it up, and give it a better gun. That's what I really want. But uh, you never know. Again, more on the tech trees in a later video. But I hope you all enjoyed this one, and I hope you have a wonderful day.